you've probably watched other guys out there reviewing the Jolion. Let's face it, it's one of the most talked about vehicles here in South Africa. In fact, globally, it's making a big impact. And I've been waiting a long time to get behind the wheel of this and see what all the fuss is about. And I can tell you, the moment I saw it outside my driveway or jumped inside, I realized what it was all about. Because this truly is quite exceptional. In fact, it's a glimpse into the future motoring landscape, not only here in Mzanzi, but I think globally, the way China are bringing serious, serious artillery to the party. And it's driving along a beautiful piece of mountain stretch like this that you can enjoy a lot of the luxury and comfort of the super luxury Jolion. Now, I'm not just saying super luxury, that is the model trim I've got. It's the top range spec version here. And it comes in below 400,000 Rand. And for me, that is exceptional. So putting that out there, it's powered by a 1.5 liter petrol driven motor and it's very much the motor that you got in the H2. Now it's a little bit thirsty I'll agree with that all the motoring guys are saying it. I'm also averaging a little bit higher consumption about 10, 10 and a half. Not the greatest although Haval do claim that you can achieve 8.1. I'll see when I play with it a bit more but what I can tell you is it is an exceptionally exceptionally comfortable car. Now we'll pull to the side in a second and discuss more of the technology but really everything including the kitchen sink is thrown in here so as i drive along i've got this massive panoramic roof if i knock this little steering wheel button here i've got a semi-autonomous drive mode so when you get it onto a highway and you want to let go of the steering the braking the driving you name it literally if i tap this the car takes over and it takes care of everything now of course occasionally once you put your hands on the steering wheel to know you're there but it is truly truly exceptional then I got all the active and passive safety features rolled in here. Airbags around, I got the blind spot assist, I've got it all. And what it makes for is a very, very relaxing, pleasurable drive. But before we go on any further, let me pull to the side of the road now because I really would like to tell you about the technological sophistication going on here because I still cannot believe what this car costs and really what it offers. For starters, take a look at the material on this dash. It looks simply beautiful. I love this little touch panel below it which controls everything, the likes of your climate controlled air conditioning and all that kind of stuff. Then we jump into the star of the show here. It's this large central display, over 12 inches in screen real estate. I've got paddle shifters here, of course steering wheel mounted controls. You've got this lovely, very nifty rotary dial to go into your drive select. You've got a wireless charge pad, a place for your mobile phone. You've got cup holders. You've got surround DTS sound in here. I've got a customizable heads up display. I've got a panoramic roof. I'm just trying to think what I've missed because believe me, there's a lot. You've got keyless go and entry. There's blind spot assist when it comes to the mirrors. There's a ton of active and passive safety systems, lane assist, forward assist, semi autonomous drive. You let go, it takes over and does the rest. You've got features here that are at home, or even perhaps more than at home, on a car that's twice, maybe three times the price of this. When it comes to features, sophistication and value, this is very, very hard to touch. When it comes to space and practicality, the Jolion has you covered. Take a look at the knee room. That's with the seat far back, the way I like it. Masses of knee room, great headroom, a comfy central armrest, cup holders, my own air vents, two USBs here. That's in addition to a bunch of them up front. This is a true practical family car. Masses of space. You could get five people in here, five adults in true comfort. You're getting a decent big boot and you couple this with the whole package. This really is the full, full hurrah. No car out there is faultless. And if I really have to be picky, I can pick on a few things. If I indicate, it's a bit loud for me, that indicator. You might find odd little bits and pieces, niggles, but on the whole, they really have put a sublime package together. When you factor in that pricing starts just below 300,000 for the Jolion, and even this range topper is around the 400,000 Rand mark, it is absolutely, absolutely exceptional. I really can tell you that this has blown me away like it's done for everybody and I can see why it's having the effect it's having on our local market space. From me Jason of Technobock, this has been a look at Aval's Jolion. Until next time, I'll 
see you guys soon. Cheers for now.